What is up guys? Uh, haven't done an intro like this. The intro that I uh, first did, <laughs> I did not have this mic turned on. Oh, okay, good. Little, little kitty cat here to visit. Come on, kitty. Um, she's an old kitty. She's a Bombay. She's, an, she's 13 now. She's, she's an old girl. Um, so I haven't done an intro like this. Uh, as the thumbnail shows and as the title uh, of the video states, uh, this is going to be reviewing Dan John's, uh, some of his more famous workouts, some of his, uh, you know, his programming, I guess you could say. And as much as I would love to make this a, oh, is this bullshit? I just, I, the, the man deserves a lot, a lot of respect uh, for what he's um, done and accomplished and just he's you know if he's watching this and if he wants to adopt the 40 year old son I'd be I'd be game um he just really really is an awesome dude and I kind of don't even want to be like funny or cheeky or, or or like you know sneaky or anything about it like of I he's just a really really awesome guy I really hope you guys enjoy um this workout I really really did um, I'm going to give you a recap at the end as well as an imam that I kind of put together with all of it. Um, I really, really hope you enjoy. What's up guys, I am feeling much, much better. Um, I, I kicked that cold's ass. Uh, and this workout kicked my ass. This is a, this is almost me paying homage to, to Dan John. Uh, he's, he's been somebody who I respect highly. Uh, I've never met the man or doesn't even know that I exist, but I definitely respect what he does, his personality, the way he carries himself. And this right here is the armor building complex. This is something he is totally known for. Uh, it is two cleans, one press, three front squats. Don't need a lot of weight for this one, um, at least for me that is. Uh, if you are going to use a lot of weight, I would definitely do it as like an EMOM. Like uh, say you were to say 24, double 24 is as heavy for you. Do one a minute. Um, definitely, definitely something there. I, I did three with uh, double 20s. Uh, after everything, I did swings double-handed swings. I think in one of them I did, uh, you know, single hand swings. They might've even been alternating, um, something big in his programming that, uh, he talks about is, you know, that he, he's known for his 10,000 swing challenge. And it's like, well, how are you going to get there? Um, and it's not just doing hundreds of swings in a row. It's doing them, you know, bite by bite by bite. Like how do you, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Uh, another thing he's known for is carries, I love carries. Um, I don't get to do as many. <laughs> Obviously, as you guys can see, I basically work out in a studio apartment uh, closet, it looks like. Um, I work out in a very small little area there. So uh, carrying from one side of that room to the other would not be very uh, lucrative. So I do, um, I do marches a lot. Uh, you'll see other guys do marches as well when they're tight on space, but I really do like doing carries. Keep an eye out for a video uh, on carries coming up soon. I'm hoping this Saturday I can get out with the new camera. And uh, I've, got a, I've got a pretty cool idea. Uh, anyway, um, loaded carries. I did uh, 10 aside with 20. Um, I will tell you this, my shoulders are sore as shit right now. A um, lot of overhead stuff uh, that day. Um, but this is all stuff he's known for. And, and what the premise was is, is this, is, this, is this feasible? Could you do this as a workout, say, daily? Now, I know Dan John talks a lot about his seasons. Um, I don't know what season all this would fit into, but I do see it as kind of a, a, kind of a collage of, of all of them. Um, the swings went up instead of down. Um, and I also tried to break this up to where it was, uh, how would you say, um, it wasn't the, the very demanding things uh, were usually followed by something that he's known for that was a little less demanding. Uh, still difficult, still challenging, still functional, but just a little less demanding and kind of went, you know, on and off. But each each set of swings went up. 
uh, I believe from 10 in increments of five up to 25, if I remember correctly. But, uh, but this was, this was a really good one. This is another one where I wish I had more room to, uh, to hang. Uh, I, I don't, I don't have much room to hang. You can see me there. I'm kind of making sure I don't scrape my toes across the, uh, across the mats there, but, or across the mat rather. But, uh, but yeah, hanging, hanging in was something I used to do every day. I used to hang for three minutes a day. That was my goal. And, uh, and I've really, really stra straight away from it. It's funny, the things that you're so committed to doing for so long and don't know where or how it happens, but you kind of move on. But those are the seasons that he talks about, you know, um, and, and, you know, a lot of his programming is based around athletics and, uh, you know, the, the discus and shot put and, you know, uh, American football and stuff like that. But you kidding me? There's no human being that, that wouldn't benefit from the stuff he does. Uh, I have, I, like I said, I have, I'm, he's, he's one of them men I kind of just gush over, uh, hashtag no homo, but, uh, yeah, he's just a just a really good dude. You know, he's one of the people you can tell you you'd enjoy being around him. You know, he's he's just a really the way he carries himself. He's very humble and he's just just an all around really good dude. Uh, moved on to some more swings here. Uh, I also got a pretty cool imam at the end, and I was trying to think of a way of how am I going to mash all this together into some kind of an imam. But I I did find a way. Your boy found a way. So. We'll let this uh we'll let this play out these swings and we'll see what we move into next. Yeah, this is where I went into alternating swings. Here we go. Here's something he's really known for and I definitely don't do enough of, but I'm glad I did this video because I saw the absolute benefit of it. And, and it made me think of another idea. Um, you know, when somebody says, you know, oh, I've, all I've got is a 16 kilo bell and it's just too easy to press now, way too many reps. You know, I'm doing like 15, 20 reps per side. And it's like, okay, do a Z press now. Do a half kneeling press. Do a full kneeling press. It changes everything, everything. I can press a 20 kilo bell a decent amount of times. I don't know. I've never maxed out on pressing it, but I could tell you I can press it less with <laughs> a, a half kneeling or a kneeling or a Z press. I know that. I know that already. And, uh, you know, he has a lot of, uh, uh, or he has a well-known um, uh, movement or set of movements for uh, the over overhead squat. And it's where you do a goblet squat with a kettlebell. Uh, then, you know, you put that bell down in the same motion. You pick up a broomstick and you do that overhead. For somebody that's that dedicated to where he came up with an idea of how to make this work for people like me who just are missing something, the half kneeling press makes sense. There's a lot more things of where I'm feeling... Uh, it's kind of in my low, like the rear lower oblique area. And um, there's, a, there's a weakness in there. There's, there's a set of muscles that are almost like asleep. And I can feel it in that half kneeling press. So I, I think that that's another one to add to my arsenal of, you know, getting to that goal at the end of the year of, of uh, you know, that double 20 overhead squat. See, the more I say it, the more you guys are going to hold me to it. Uh, another thing here, guys, that I, if you made it this far um, and what I'm doing, if I am earning a subscription from you, please subscribe. If I'm earning a like, please like. Um, I just want to keep getting better and better at this, you know, making content thing. Uh, I really am enjoying it. I, I've, I've shared that with you guys quite a few times. But um, if, if this is something that I'm adding value to your day, if, if you're learning something from me, if, you, if I'm motivating you in any way, please just drop down, drop, drop, uh, drop a like down there. The comments are my favorite parts. I say that all the time, as well as uh, a subscribe. You know, um, I'm trying to really, really put out some good stuff and just kind of the, the everyday. You know, I'm not 225 pounds, just absolutely jacked, and swear that I'm not on steroids. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm just a 40 year old dude who's just, you know, just trying to get better. So, uh, did goblet squats here. Love the goblet squat. 
you know, all of his stuff is just makes totally good sense. And then this would be finishing it off with uh, 25 swings. Um, I, or no, this would be the Imam that I did. Sorry. This is the Imam. So this is with 32 kilos. So I did the, uh, I think it was five swings, uh, four, uh, four goblet squats, and then this standing march. So here is the part of the video where you might expect me to be a little bit cheeky or funny, but here is my, my conclusion of the, the John circuit, I guess I'm going to call it, or maybe the DJ circuit. I don't know which one yet. I, I want to give him free reign to name it whatever he wants. He could just call it his workout program if he really wants to, because it's basically what it is, but let's give a recap on it. So there's a couple things. One, I want to say about the man. So I'll probably gush over him for a little bit. Uh, but he is, let's go over the workout first. Then I'm going to, I'm going to kind of set, I'm going to uh, digress back to that. All of it makes perfectly good sense. And I just so happen to put it in an order that worked out pretty damn good here. So doing three three rounds of this, uh, of the armor building complex. It is strength, it is speed, it is power, it is conditioning. It is all of that in one. You could probably get away with doing that for the rest of your life and do just fine. But you could also survive if you ate nothing but boiled chicken and white rice. So variety comes into play and that's what I'm going to digress it, uh, to in a moment. Then He's big on the swing, which why wouldn't you be? 10 swings, 15, 20, 25. Then you're starting back over again, 10, 15, 20, 25. So you're getting in there, uh, let's see, 25, 50. There's 70 swings per round. Um, pick a moderate weight that you know you can swing 70 times. Your grip is probably going to be your limiting factor. Then moving into overhead marches um, and, and uh, suitcase marches. It's the loaded carry. The loaded carry, if you did loaded carries, swings, and armor building complex for the rest of your life, you'd be great. 15 swings. Then hanging. Something I used to do a lot that I have to get back into for my shoulder health. Uh, my shoulders are usually my limiting factor. 20 swings. The kneeling press. If you're going to press something, press it kneeling or Z press. I get why he does this. You cannot cheat. You cannot I do a lot of push presses. You know why? I guarantee you, you do a lot of push presses. Video yourself. Video yourself next time you do a press. And I promise you, if you do 10 reps of whatever weight on the 8th, 9th, or 10th, you're starting to get a little bit of a something. You will be doing something. Man, I felt like my son. That's the way my son would do. That's one of the dances. That's one of the dances they're doing in class now. So, my that's, that's, I get it. It makes sense. 25 swings. And then the goblet squat. I don't have the legs <laughs> to say that squatting heavy is, isn't a good idea or isn't worth it. But I will say squatting weights that are everyday life weights, probably a little bit easier on the body and the joints, especially for those of us that are 40 and over. So could you do this workout for the rest of your life and be in excellent shape, excellent conditioning, and just be an all-around badass, right? Yes, you absolutely could. But could you do that for the rest of your life? I don't have the same discipline as him. That's where I find this man to be a saint or a god, is that he does do a lot of the same stuff. I don't disagree with any of that. I just need more variety. I'm not as disciplined as him. So maybe when I get to 50, 60, I will be able to do that more because I'll be more disciplined, but that's... A journey that I'm on and I hope you guys are on with me I hope you enjoyed this video I had once again a lot of fun um, I like going over some of my uh, some of my idols I guess you could say so love you guys have a great night